Hey everybody, Spencer here from Geek of Spades, and I'm bringing you yet another unboxing. We're closing out 2013 with a bang. The Bolt Action British Army Starter Box. I just got this guy in, and I'm pretty excited, even though I'm super far behind on building miniatures. Uh, so yeah, this is a thousand point army in box. Uh, you get a bunch of stuff. Good look at some of the art on there. Uh, one of the cool things is it does have a suggested list on here, which uses everything out of here. Uh, it's not the list I'm going to be running, because I'm not going to be using the uh, three inch mortar or the Piet. Uh, but I will be using pretty much everything else in there. Uh, yeah, good little look at the tank there. Sort of a, hey, buy our other stuff kind of deal. Six pounder. Uh, there's nothing on the back, it's just white. So what do you get in the British starter box? Well, first and foremost, get that out of the way, you get a whole lot of plastic. These are the infantry that come in this set. You get two of the British uh, infantry boxes each one capable of building 25 models. Uh, so you will get 50 dudes, and you got 10 sprues here, and then you've got uh, these little sprues here. So the main sprues, these big sprues here, <clears throat> uh, these have like pouches, and these have uh, the bodies, and you've got one guy who's kneeling. Heads, arms, turn around so you can actually see the heads here. You got heads and arms and helmets. I don't like that the helmet's a separate part, to be honest. Uh, I think that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to, to get sitting right, but you know, that might just be me and my incompetence. Uh, you got some backpacks up here with like a spade and uh, they got their little teacups. Uh, and each one of these does come with uh, these little uh, 25 mil bases. So this is actually really cool. This is an awesome deal because you get so many guys. Uh, just a ton of infantry in one of these boxes. So here's the weapon sprue. Uh, you've got some Lee Enfield rifles, a couple of Thompson SMGs, a uh, uh, Bren light machine gun, some Webley revolvers, couple more spades because you know, beat guys with shovels. Uh, the actual Piat pickaxe. Uh, these are stern submachine guns, I believe is what they're called. Uh, I admit, outside of uh, outside of the rifle, I'm not too familiar with most of the British weapons. Uh, but yeah, you get a bunch of of uh, Lee Enfield rifles. You even get uh, the scoped one, so you can make a sniper, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and then you got a couple of other uh, little things like, uh, I don't even know what that is, but there's like more pouches and belts and stuff like that. So, yeah, a great deal for the amount of stuff you get. Uh, the other thing, you get this bag of metal bits. This has three different models in it, essentially. Zoom that in. So this is all the parts for your uh, your Vickers machine gun. You, know, you got the gunner, and there's another guy. Uh, your uh, three-inch mortar here. So you get uh, two guys to go with that, as well as the many many parts to build the anti-tank gun. Uh, the one thing I don't like is that there's no instructions in this box on how to build this, but I'm pretty sure there are some up on Warlord's website. So, yeah, I mean, this is really cool that you get all of these. I kind of wish they were separated, honestly, because it's going to take me a while to figure out who goes with what, except for, you know, the obvious guys, like the guy who's clearly shooting the machine gun and the guy, you know, holding a shell. But very cool, nonetheless. Uh, Going to be really fun to 
uh, build these guys and paint these guys. And they've got these separate head sprues here. I can get it right side up. So you get a couple of different heads. And there's two of those sprues in here. The last thing you get in the kit or in the starter box is the thing that is most important. You get a Cromwell tank. I believe this is a Mark 6 or Mark 7. I could be wrong. Let me check the box. It just says Cromwell tank. Uh, you could probably run it as either one. So this is just plastic and resin and a couple of little metal bits. Uh, the metal bits are mostly just like hatches and the turret and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother taking those out. Uh, so here's the main body. It's a very nicely done model. It's It's got plenty of detail. It's got the detail it needs. It looks really flat because that's the way Cromwell actually was. But um, you also get the treads just going right like that. And then you have the turret, which isn't going to sit on here flush because it's got a giant chunk of flash. Uh, and that's my only complaint about this kit or this particular piece of the set, the tank, is how much freaking flash there is on this thing. Uh, there's these two, these are going to be just a nightmare to deal with, I'm sure. Uh, you know, the turret's got this giant chunk here. Uh, each of the treads has like a big chunk there, you know. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's not going to be too terrible. It's just going to be a, a wee bit annoying. So, yeah, that is the Bolt Action British Starter Army. Like I said, this is a great deal. This retails at $120. Uh, but like I said, you get 50 infantry, a medium machine gun, a 6-pound anti-tank cannon, a 3-inch mortar, and a freaking tank. So, it's worth getting. If you're looking to get into Bolt Action, uh, these pre-built 1,000-point box sets are fantastic way to go. There's one for uh, British, there's like three for the Germans, I think there's two for the Americans, one for the Russians, one for the Japanese, and then there's a couple others you can only get straight from Warlord, like French, and, uh, Polish, and Belgian, stuff like that. But these are great, great box sets. Despite my complaints about all the flash on the tank, these are really cool, and this is just a great way to get into the game. So, if you're looking to play Bolt Action sometime in the future, uh, I highly recommend grabbing one of these starter boxes. And if you want more Bolt Action stuff, be sure to keep it here to Geek of Spades. We'll be doing battle reports, we'll be doing learn to play, uh, we'll probably be doing maybe painting tutorials. I'll talk Jeremy and Zach into doing that. And don't forget, you can also follow us here on Geek of Spades on Twitter, and on Facebook by checking the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you guys have a very happy new year. Take it easy.